Good morning, Antioch. This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, but it's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Let us arise and praise God from whom all blessings flow. What a 
Hallelujah. Gracious God, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we've come into this house and gathered on the airways and the cyberways, God, to worship Mary's baby, to worship our Savior and our Lord, to worship the wheel in the middle of a wheel, to worship the bright and morning star, the lily of the valley, to worship Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for another opportunity to gather in your name. And God, we ask right now that we just forget about ourselves and concentrate on you and worship you. God, you are love. You are the reason for the season. So God, right now, Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving us so much that you gave us one more day in the land of the living, one more opportunity to lay our eyes on one another, one more opportunity to worship and celebrate you and give glory to your name, the glory that is due you. Gracious and holy God, would you touch each and every individual, God, within the sound of my voice? Lord God, you know what we have need of, so God, will you just let us know you got us Hallelujah, that you know everything that concerns us. You know every hair on our head. So God, let us just forget about our concerns and concentrate on the one who can do something about it. Concentrate on the one who can take care of us. Concentrate on the one who can make a way out of no way. Concentrate on the one who can pay the bills when we don't have a dime to our name. Let's just concentrate on the one who is the answer. So Jesus, Father, fall fresh on us. Holy Spirit, rain down on us right now. Allow us, give us, empower us with your spirit right now that we can worship you in spirit and in truth. You're worthy of the glory and the honor and the praise, God. You're so worthy. So God, we sing hallelujah you Jesus we sing glory to your name and we lift you up on high oh God you're so good to us you are good God all the time and all the time you're good so hallelujah to you Jesus glory to your name and now God everyone here God and everyone joining us Lord God we just ask right now God that we just we just praise you we put our minds on you. Remember the reason for the season as we welcome and we remember that Mary's baby saved us all. So God, right now, just touch us because we know that it is in the name of Jesus, the only name by which men and women, boys and girls might be saved. It is in the name of Jesus that can mend a broken heart do heart surgery without a knife. It is in the name of Jesus that a way can be made when we just don't see no way. It is in the name of Jesus that we can be healed in our spirit even if our body is racked with pain. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray and believe. Amen, amen, and amen. and preparing our hearts for the coming of Christ, a season of waiting, a season of expectation, and a season of longing. The first candle gives us the opportunity to center our thoughts on hope. It's a chance to remember the hope God offers to our lost and dying world and that he's given us through Jesus Christ. And the second candle gives us opportunity to prepare our hearts to wait faithfully 
celebrate the birth of Jesus and ready ourselves for his second coming. It's a chance to reflect on the ways prophecy has been fulfilled and to ponder what the future will bring. And as we light the third candle, which is the only pink candle on the wreath, while purple is the penitential color for fasting, pink is the color of joy. How is it? You might wonder that we could celebrate joy when there's so much suffering all around us. Isn't that contradictory? Well, this light of joy is a reminder to wait for it with faithfulness that overshadows pain and cynicism. We can always have joy, even if we're not happy. And the fourth candle is love. We are one in God's love without condition or expectation. So let us love one another the way Jesus taught us how to love. And since we're not here on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, we will go ahead and light the center candle in celebration of the birth of Christ. It is the Christ candle. It reminds us that Jesus brings light to all of us. Jesus brings light to the world. Amen. So as it's time to celebrate our birthdays today, or as I'll say this weekend, we will start with Sister Nicole Pagan. Her birthday was Friday. Brother James Norwood, one of our stewards, his birthday was yesterday. Sister Sharice Moore, her birthday is today. And Sister Cheryl Brown, wife of Brother David Brown, her birthday is tomorrow. The Women's History Month Committee has established a new award the Elaine Hunter Woman on the Move Award. Our first award recipient goes to Dr. Bonita Simmons. A woman who is always, always on the move. We say congratulations to Dr. Bonita Simmons, our first lady on this special occasion as we recognize her for the Elaine Hunter Woman on the Move Award. Amen. Watch night service will be on December 31st at 12 noon on live stream only. There will be no in-person worship. Dr. Jeffrey Cooper, our general secretary of the AME Church will be our guest preacher. Church, it is that time again to honor our very own sister Olivia Hayes with our Livy's Love Fun Run Walk. Coming up in January, it's going to be virtual. We won't have to go through the elements this year, but it's going to be virtual. So how does a virtual run walk really work? You're gonna complete your 5K or 8K run or walk between 8 a.m. Saturday, January 16th and 11.30 p.m. on Saturday, January 31st. So you have all that time to complete your 5K or 8K run. Please continue to follow social distance rules and CDC guidelines to stay safe. Share your run walk selfies on the Livy's Love Facebook page. It's a virtual race, so you can invite your family and friends from everywhere. And if you're not able to participate but still want to support Livy's Love, please consider making a donation through the registration link in your weekly Friday updates. Amen. Let us give God some praise for the 10th year, the 10th year of the Livy's Love Fun Run Walk. Antioch, we need your pictures. We need your pictures. Any pictures of you and your family, pictures around the Christmas tree, 
pictures around your dinner table, just pictures, pictures of you and your families. The goal is to set up a video gallery to show next Sunday. So please email your pictures to antiochame.ministries at gmail.com. That's antiochame.ministries at gmail.com. Antioch has created a database that has, allows each member to set up their own account to keep their information updated. But we need your email addresses. So please forward your emails to dford at antioch-ame.org as soon as possible. dford at antioch-ame.org. Our Sunday school classes are ongoing via Zoom or phone. Our, the links are in our weekly updates, pre-K at 9.30, primary at 10. The juniors, the intermediate, and the adult classes are simultaneously at 11 a.m. It's time to get out the vote, church. We, we, we can't play around with this one. Just like we came out for the presidential election, it's time to come out for this runoff. Vote tripling is a get out the vote method that shows an increase in voter turnout from one to three percent when a supporter is asked to get three friends to vote. This can make the winning difference in a close election like this runoff coming up in January. So stay tuned for more information on an upcoming training on this, mess, on this method. It is 16 days to election day. Only 16. So if you can, please vote early. And if you're voting by absentee ballot, there's still time to request your ballot on the Secretary of State website. And for all the ways to give, Givelify, Cash App, PayPal, Wednesday drop off, or mail it in. And we will see you all in Sunday school this morning. Everyone have a blessed week. Thank you, Reverend Higgins. Thank you, um, Reverend Stevens, as our worship leader. Reverend Daughtery, Reverend Corbin, Dr. Corbin, Sister Daughtery. All y'all heavy hitters in here this morning. Our Brother Cord, our Minister of Music, our other musicians, our choir. Greeters, ushers, COVID-19 task force, stewards, trustees, uh, stewardess on duty, uh, Reverend Daughter is doing that too. <laughs> thank you, Sister uh, Williams. <laughs> yeah, we thank God for all of you who are here with us this morning. Uh, I'm almost getting used to talking with this mask on. Amen, amen. We, we, we better get used to it, Brother Ron. <laughs> we, we thank God for you, and uh, I am just so excited just to see you here uh, this morning, uh, this last Sunday of Advent, uh, right before Christmas. It's good to know that, that, that we still know that Christmas still come, even during a pandemic. Jesus is still born, even in a pandemic. We thank you for that. And I want to just give a special shout out to all of you who um, have been doing and, and uh, gone beyond the call of duty and your volunteering and serving. I want to give a shout out to the food pantry ministry that has not stopped since the pandemic. And uh, I was just looking at all the calls on Thursday. And, um, and I just want to thank you all, the volunteers. I just give them a hand if you would. <laughs> Certainly, we thank Sister Olu Boglin, our uh, coordinator and director, and, and all those folks that she's working at Death Down now. 
We thank, we thank God also for our Women Missionary Society. Had an opportunity on yesterday to see them putting together those uh, giveaway boxes and it was just looked so good, I almost took a box. But uh, we, we thank uh, Sister Sharonda Taylor and her leadership of the WMS. And uh, uh, amen, let's give them a hand. Go, go ahead. Go. As they were preparing boxes yesterday and we'll be doing some descriptive distributing uh, boxes and delivering on, on today. I am just so proud of you. I'm so proud that, that we can still be the church, uh, even during this time. Uh, one of the issues that sometimes happen, uh, unfortunately, some churches stop being the church during crisis. But I don't think it's any better time to be the church that during a crisis. The folk need you more now than they ever needed you before. And so thank you, Annie Al. Thank you for continuing to be the church. Amen. I, I see y'all um, with the first Elaine Hunter Award, uh, gave it to Dr. Benita. <laughs> Amen. I, I guess that's the way I won't ever leave any out. I finally got my name on something. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Hey, every, every year y'all get that award out, y'all got to call her name. <laughs> Amen. Y'all won't ever get rid of us now. But thank you. We, I thank you on, on behalf of uh, Dr. Benita. And we just want to thank y'all for just all of what, you, what you're doing. Uh, we want to um, be uh, reminded again of our uh, Livy Fun Run walk. I was prepared and ready in myself to get out there and get it. And uh, now y'all gonna make me do it virtual. And, 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 and don't tell nobody, uh, Sister Hood, pastor, pastor can cheat this year. I, I, just, I just send my money in. Any, any rest of y'all cheaters just go see your buddy. <laughs> Speaking of money, uh, the church still need it. You, you heard me talking about the great things you are doing. And you know that takes money to keep these lights on and do what we are doing. We still need money. And so part of your Christmas, those of you who can, we ask that you would share. And, and, and those of you who, who God has blessed to be able to keep your income coming, uh, if you can do a little bit more than usual, it, it most certainly will be appreciated because there are so many who just can't give right now financially. In fact, they need the church to help them. And so, so let us all remember we're in this together. Take whatever gift you have. Some of you maybe you have given it already, but let us pray over it right now. Whatever we have shared and whatever we can give. Gracious God, we thank you. Thank you for this another given opportunity. Take now, oh God, what we have and bless it and multiply it as only you can. And we also ask for a special blessing upon those who, who just don't have it right now. We ask a special blessing upon the lady and the children that I was called about last night don't have a place to live. God, move, move in a special way move right now in the name of Jesus. Let the seed, the seed offering that we give right now multiply into a blessing for those who need it most. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Come on, let's give God glory in this house. Hallelujah. Jesus, excellency. Jesus, Is that anybody's testimony that we serve an excellent God on this morning? Call him Jesus, excellency. If you know he's been mighty, if you know he's been great, say, Jesus, marvelous. Jesus, I think of the moon and the stars and all of your ways you've made. You're marvelous. You're marvelous. Jesus, Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He's marvelous. He is. Jesus, excellent.
for the world this morning. Somebody give him glory. Hey! Hallelujah. Come on, magnify his holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yesterday. So let us keep Reverend Young and his family lifted up in, in prayer. He, Reverend Young told me he's the, the last of the siblings. And uh, so, those of you who have a chance to reach out, we ask that you would do so. We also lost a strong warrior in our AME church, who served and pastored for many years, uh, Reverend T.N. Hercules. And he's the father of our dear member, uh, Sister Portia Bradley. So let us keep Portia and Clinton and their family, his spouse, Sister Charlene Hercules, in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us look, if you would, at the gospel according to Luke, the first chapter, 26 through the 38th verse. You will look at it at in the New International Version on the screen, but I'm going to share with you from the New King James Version. Listen. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled 
at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. I want to share with you, with this time we have here, uh, from the subject of God's way-making power. God's way-making power power. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. God's way-making power. I know I'm in the right place to talk to some folk about God's way-making power. Because I just, believe, I just believe that everybody in here is a witness and, and they have their own testimony to how God has made a way. I, 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 I just know I, got, I know I got some witnesses on that. Just Friday, just Friday afternoon, uh, uh, old classmate, teammate uh, from, from Tuskegee, a part of the class of 80, uh, the class that 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 I was a part of, young man, a guy. Well, I call him young because he's about my age. <laughs> uh, he got in touch with um, the church, and and um, and Sister Hardy gave me his number. I didn't didn't even recognize his name because you know how colored folks don't use the real name. Uh, and so his, I, didn't, I didn't know uh, Reverend Carmen, his name was Darren. Uh, I only knew TC. And, 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 but, but when I got to talking with him, we got to talking and reminiscing, and he gave me some other numbers or, and some other guys' numbers, and we just got to talking and comparing notes. Now, this 1980, y'all, them from young folk. And, and, and as I look and I listen to all of our stories, how, how, how different things had happened to us along life way. Uh, we, we, some, some, of, some of us have been married forever. Some of us have been divorced. Some of us got children and grandchildren. Some, 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 some have, have dealt with cancer. Some have been, even been killed or died. But what it made me think about, Brother Stembridge, is that how God, through it all, has made 
a way for, for all of us, wherever we are. We, we, we came to that campus with all these hopes. All of us thought we were it. And, and, and along the way, life took us in so many different directions. But as we stand today, we have to declare that God has made a way. And guess what? Reverend Dog, we still know that God is making a way. I'm, that's why I love this. I love this text for Advent every year during this time about Mary and, and, and even Elizabeth, her co cousin who, who bared the son, John the Baptist, who came before Jesus. I love this story because Mary, the mother of Jesus, modeled for us how, how God make a way and, and, and how he, he, he helped us do stuff that we have no answer for. I know I have one witness in here. Here is Mary, this little girl from, from low circumstances. Somebody might say she's even from the hood. Somebody may say she's from the show enough country. She, she doesn't have nothing she don't know. She, 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 she just, she, she, she got a man. She got a man named Joseph who she, she, she hadn't been with yet, but she's waiting to marry him. And, and here come God. And God some. Um, how God always show up. See, yeah. seem, seemingly, 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 seemingly at the wrong time. I mean, I all, Lord, 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 I've been praying for a man. You gave me a man. Now leave me alone. <laughs> then you, you gave me what I wanted. But God, that one, God still had something else. Man, I, I, got, I got something else for you. Mary, I, I want you to make a delivery for me. Anybody had to deliver anything for somebody else? That's what Mary was in that predicament of having her uh, uh, make a delivery. And not just for a UPS, uh, Brother Thomas, a FedEx, or a postal service. She had to make a delivery for God. Can, 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 can I just suggest to all of us that all of us got a delivery to make for God? What, what, what God got you delivering? All of us got something, Sister Shipman, to deliver for God. It's just a matter of knowing what God got for you to deliver. You ain't that much different from Mary now. I'm just telling you. That's why I want to use Mary to help us out. And if somebody allow me, she can even help us out, Sister Moore. Look at Mary. Look. Mary, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to I, I wanna highlight. I want to highlight basically three things that that how how, how Mary help us out in and God's way making power. How she illustrate how, Sister Nicole, we can take at full advantage of how God can make a way. And, 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 and one, one, one of the first ways that as we look, look at, the, at this text of God's way-making power, we can experience God's way-making power by knowing who we are in the Lord. That's the first thing that Mary help us with. You know, that, how many in here know that's important? Just to know who you are in the Lord. Yeah. I, I believe, y'all, I, I believe, Sister Audrey, that, that some of the whippings we take, we don't have to take them if we just knew who we were in the Lord. Yeah. How many of you in here know that you don't took some whippings yeah. that you didn't have to take 
just because you just didn't know who you that, that's why, that's why if you've been with the Lord for a while in your life, if, if you've been around a minute or two, you ought to be stronger. You, you, you ought to be, uh, you ought to be, you not, you shouldn't be uh, pushed and, and shoved by every wind of life. Everything ought not to whip you now. You know some of that stuff used to whip you back then because of you know who you are in the Lord. You ought to be able to stand up to some stuff. Because I've been there, done that. That's why, that's why I love these. I love my seniors. I can't help myself. I just love my seniors more better. Because I see how you've been through the storms of life. <laughs> and you're still standing. <laughs> you, 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 you can give out something to, 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 to the youngest of us. You, you can, when you say, baby, it's going to be all right, we can believe you because you help. You got to know who you are. This was, this was when Mary was worrying about how I'm going to do this thing, how I'm going to have, have baby Jesus, how I'm going to have God's son without even having a relationship with a man. She didn't know how God was going to make a way out of that. But, but, but the Lord had to remind Mary who she was in him. And sometimes God got to remind us when he want to do something through us, when he want to make a delivery through us, when he want to make a way through us, we need to know who we are in the... You're highly. You're highly. You're highly favored. You're highly favored. You can experience my way making power because you are highly favored. Somebody say I'm favored. Not because I'm so good, but because I got a good God. Oh. If you just knew who, who you were. That's why y'all, a color folks need to embrace our African story. When you think about where God has brought us from, you shouldn't run from your, your African story. Because your African story or your hood story, or your country story, wherever you come from and all that God has done for you, it ought to make you know that you are somebody in the Lord and nothing and nobody can separate you from the love of God. I know who, I know who I am. Mary! Mary! can make the delivery because you're highly favored. You can do it because I pick you to do it. And if I pick you to do it, no devil in hell can stop what I making power help us we can do it because we know who we are you got to know who you are in the Lord you can do it tell your neighbor you can do it you you are God's child you can do it because God has picked you. God has chosen you. God got his hands on you. 
That's why, that's why, that's why David, little shepherd boy, with no status, can declare the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, I know who I am. I know who I be. Nothing can stop me when God has chosen me. That's Mary, Mary, Mary gone, you, you can experience his way making power because I just want you to know who you are. Mary, look at here, but that ain't all that help us in knowing that God will make a way. He can, we can make a way when we experience uh, the power of having God's faith. Do you understand that? We can experience his way making power just by just having faith in God. How many got faith in God? That's, that's, that's all, Mary, you, you can experience me. You can deliver for me. You, 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 you can tell the world about me. If, if, if you just have faith in me. That's, that's, why, that's why I chose, chose this, this translation because I, 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 like, I like just what it, it says about our faith and, and, and Mary's faith. And this is, this is the angel helping establish the faith in, in Mary to help her to understand how God can, can make a way out of no way if you just have what? Faith. Listen, listen to him in the 37th verse. For with God that nothing will be impossible. I don't know what you're going through, what, you, what, 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 what God trying to lead you through, how you trying to, how you trying to make it. But his, his way making power can come through by us just having faith in God. Believing that he will make a way out of no way. Believing that God that you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthen you. That greater is in you than he that is in the world. That no weapons formed against you shall prosper. That all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Oh, Mary, you can do it. You can experience my way-making power by your, your faith. Because with God, nothing is impossible. What, what you're dealing with, what you're what you trying to handle right now. Is it sickness? Is it a diagnosis of cancer? Has the doctor given you a certain amount of time? What is it? Mary, help us this morning. As the Lord speak to her, I hope he's speaking to somebody. With God, nothing is impossible. Do you have that faith to know that he will? I don't know what you, I, I, I know somebody lost a job, somebody, somebody income ain't what it used to be. But do you believe that God will make a way? Do you believe that nothing is impossible with God? That's all we need to try to tell her the young lady with the kids and others like her. I know, baby, I know it's tough, I know it's rough, but, but nothing is impossible. Your God is bigger than your situation or your circumstance. Somebody ought to say, I, 
Baby, I can, I can tell you, I've been married. I've been married, didn't know how I was going to do it. Mary didn't have a clue how she was going to do it, but the Lord let her know who she was in him. And the Lord let her build up her faith. Do you know, as much as you walk and talk with the Lord, the Lord continually giving you a testimony. Anybody know that whatever you're going through, God is giving you a testimony. Your test is just a testimony of what God will do for you. Will you just go on and believe that God will make a way out of no way? God God will do it for you just like he did it for Mary. Oh, things are possible. Nothing is impossible with God. Thank you, Mary, for modeling for us God's way making power. by knowing who you are, by having faith in the Lord. But finally, I think the text, I think this is the problem we have, we struggle with, this last piece of being able to experience God's way-making power. It comes through submission. Y'all don't hear me? It comes in saying, Lord, I've done all I can do. I've been on the battlefield for a long time. I've been in the struggle for a while. We've cast our vote. Some of us did it early. Some of us did it by absentee. But Lord, it's in your hand. Anybody right now want to just put it in the Lord's hand? Come on, Mary, help us out here. Help us in an experiencing God wake making power. Will you tell us, Mary, what did your final conclusion? Mary said, Lord, I may not understand what are you trying to do, but let me, your humble. Servant, do, do, Lord, according to your word. Do, do, Lord, according to your word. Do, Lord, according to your word. Do, Lord. According to your word, do Lord. I don't know, don't know what tomorrow gonna bring, but do Lord. According Mary, Mary did deliver. She delivered. And she has experienced God's way making power. But I don't think she's much different from any of us in here. If you're standing on your feet, I want to give somebody an opportunity to experience God's way-making power. And it starts with accepting God, Jesus Christ, God's Son. For the Bible says, that God so loved the world that God gave his only begotten son 
For whosoever believe in him should not perish or die, but live forever. Mary, help make that possible for us. But God got some, some deliveries for everybody in here and there. We all got some deliveries to make as we experience God's way making power. If you're here and you want to experience God's way making power, the first thing is to give your life to him. If you're in here, raise your hand if that's your pleasure to give your life to Christ. If you're there virtually, you see the email address to Reverend Higgins, you can email her and let us know your pleasure of giving your life to Christ. Maybe somebody want to be a part of this church, this faith community. Be with others who have been called to deliver for God. All of us got that mission, if we are Christians, to make deliveries. And it help us to make our deliveries when we are involved and engaged in a faith community. Anybody need to be a part of a faith community that, that, that know that God is depending on us to make our delivery? But I do want you to understand if you choose not to to be used by God, God will find somebody. Now let me just get that clear. As much as we love Mary and what she did, if Mary hadn't done it, God always have a ram in the bush. That's why I love the song, if you're gonna do it, Lord, don't do it without me. Are you here? Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you, dear God. Thank you, oh God, for your way-making power. All of us who are here and there can declare that we never would have made it without you. Now, God, we just put all our people in your hand, in your care, all of our sick and shut in, and anyone with any special life challenge, we put them in your hands, and we declare that you will make a way out of no way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, 
the love of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with these your people now and forevermore. And I heard all the people of God declare. <laughs>